December the 17th, 2017. Guys, back on December 13th, four days ago, I noticed this article. And another one came out today, and I'm going to tie them together and a couple other things. But the point of the video is this. We are seeing the taking back, I think, of America from the deep state. We're starting to see different things happen, different people getting in trouble, coming forward, things like that. A lot of people are going to go down, and they need to go down. And that's a good thing. And, of course, most of the people here that watch my videos know that I'm pro-American, pro-Trump, and pro-taking care of this country, okay? But here's the problem. We are one country in a big world, and artificial intelligence is going to change the game. But this headline reads again, December 13th, 2017, by Sharice Pham. And I think this is one of the most important, not talked about information out there right now because all a lot of our attention is focused here in the U.S. But China has always had the ambition to run the world. From the beginning of time almost, they had that worldwide ambition to take over everything and control it. And for the first time, through artificial intelligence, they will have the ability to do it. Even... Vladimir Putin said, whatever ever country leads in the AI development will rule the world. And he was correct. The article says, despite many of its services being blocked in China, Google has chosen Beijing as the location of its first artificial intelligence research center in Asia. Now, remember the quantum computer information started being developed last year? This is going to be a big swap out. Well, let me read this. The science of AI has no borders, neither do its benefits. Fifi Lee, chief scientist at Google's AI business, said in a blog post Wednesday announcing the new center. But China's Internet borders are fortified by the so-called Great Firewall. And most of Google's biggest products, its search engines, YouTube and Gmail, have been blocked by the country's vast censorship apparatus for years. And did you ever wonder why we had seen all the pictures from China of these ghost cities, guys, these huge complexes, cities that were n no one lived there? Kind of, It's kind of like the Chinese FEMA camp city. But it says Google effectively left China in 2010, but the country's 730 million Internet users make it too large a market to ignore. The company has made no secret of its desire to find ways to rebuild its presence there. Its artificial intelligence unit called Deep Mind teamed up with Chinese authorities to hold a five-day festival in the country earlier this year. The event focused on human versus computer uh, showdowns in the ancient game of Go. Opening a high-profile AI research center in China is the latest move in Go Google's charm offensive. Much of California and other parts of the United States, guys, has been basically bought out by China. If I'm not mistaken, most of the L.A. port there and things like that, it was just the globalists that were inside the United States. Harry Reid, Clinton, Obama, go on and on, had just sold us out so they could line their pockets, right? And some of this $27 trillion that's coming up missing from the Pentagon and all, that it's taxpayer money more than likely is going under the table to pay some of these people back try to buy them back out or buy their souls back out guys anyway this event will create along with google technology china's quantum computer base and their dominance as far as the way they censor people their citizens are disappearing guys and I, I'm going to read another article that came out today. This is just four days old. But, again, China has always wanted to dominate the world. And while we are focused on other things, including North Korea, they are working with the Silicon Valley in California to take it all down. And that's why we're seeing this screaming from the Democrat side about 
Trump's reversal of net neutrality. A lot of people don't really understand what that was about. What In 2015, again, Trump brought this up after $171 million was brought to Washington from the tech giants and lobbyist efforts, $171 million. That's why we had net neutrality. There was nothing wrong with the Internet. But what it, it allowed a couple things. You got carriers like AT&T in our area, for instance, and so they brought in net neutrality to under the guise of free internet or open internet but what they were actually doing with the because of the 171 million dollars that was lobbied in dc was giving google and these folks free uh roaming man they can do anything at no cost in other words at&t could regulate you somewhat by charging you if you were bandwidth uh, giant. If you were using tons and tons of bandwidth, then AT&T would naturally, or as some other com uh, companies do, charge you a little more for that extra bandwidth. Well, that stopped with net neutrality. It also allowed Google and YouTube and these folks, other ones, Twitter, Facebook, to become the censors of the internet. That's why right now, this point is un unbelievable. California's got bill they're trying to pass to where they will just stay net neutral and let the rest of the united states take back that obama law it's crazy man it's just like they want to uh, succeed from the country but it's not really the american people there it's the politicians that have sold out to china and most of them will probably go there to live when it hits the fan and they're going to find out suddenly how tight the reins are of chinese control on anyone that lives there and how quickly you can disappear. but So they're kind of creating their own hell to live in. And they're too stupid to realize it. Now this is, comes just months after Beijing has set out its ambitions for the rapidly developing technology. Announcing plans to build a domestic artificial intelligence industry worth $150 billion in the coming years. China wants to become, listen. The superpower in the industry that is expected to significantly shape the future of the human race. The control is the future. Whoever controls it control whoever controls that, the future of the human race controls the suppression of the human race. Google's new center will help China pursue its aim to become the global leader. The facility will employ a team of researchers who will be supported by engineers the company has already has in China. Besides publishing its own work, the Google AI China Center will also support the AI research community by funding and sponsoring AI conferences and workshops and working closely with a vibrant Chinese AI research community. Guys, it just it's going downhill fast, and that's why the battle that we have here in the United States is critical. The Democrats have to be taken out because they have sold out. They care nothing about you as long as you can pay taxes. Once you get past that point, you are useless. China has been accused by the U.S. government, business groups, and think tanks trying to take shortcuts in the development of domestic industries by forcing foreign companies to hand over their intellectual property. That just said the whole article in one paragraph. Yeah, well, Google, you want access to 730 million people that really are suppressed? Then you're going to give us your uh, technology. You get it? Beijing has disputed the allegations. Google said it already had people in China working on some of its top global products and that it wouldn't be adding new research capacity in the country if it were worried about IP theft. Well, why did they hand the Internet guys over to foreign hands? Along with net neutrality, remember that? Because they knew that China was going to be running the global AI beast. You understand what I'm saying? Cryptocurrency would be worked in, and cryptocurrency is the black hole trap. Look back, maybe two or three weeks ago, crypto um, or Bitcoin is a black hole, or something like that in the title. And what is happening, and I said then, and it hadn't begun then, but I read an article yesterday, or was it or maybe Friday, on CNBC, 
and now some hedge fund investors and some banks are thinking about instead of taking your 401ks and things like that investing in a fund buying bitcoin with it and it's a trap because you've seen it rise so rapidly that's the only way that the banks and some of the uh, investors would be tricked out of because of their greed into joining this but there's no backup for bitcoin it takes a tremendous amount of energy to do what they are bitcoin mining and guys they're busting people now that are hacking into mainframes of major companies and in <clears throat> and behind the scenes doing their bitcoin mining you see what i'm mean? instead of using their resources their electricity which it's very costly to do these um, large computer fast computer frame um, bit mine searches or mining excuse me and there was one article i did that said by the year 2020 and it's almost 2018 that they would consume much of the world's power just trying to uh, electrical power trying to mine it nothing's good about it most of the european banks except a few are warning that they're going to take it down the u.s has already said they're going to come in and tax it in other words you've been dealing with bitcoin a few years you haven't been paying taxes on it you're about to lose everything to the irs it's going to be like that worldwide but first this b system this ai cryptocurrency thing is going to take down the wealth of the world and put it in the hands of one ai country and they're pushing it to be china now that's four days ago as i'm drinking my coffee one hour ago associated press exclusive digital police state shackles chinese minority most people in china are minorities okay what does it say? Digital police state shackles Chinese minorities. Who's helping them? Now, it goes on to say thousands and possibly tens of thousands of people, rights groups, and academic uh, estimates who have been spirited away without trial into secret detention camps for alleged political crimes that range from having extremist thoughts man, to merely traveling or studying abroad. The mass disappearances beginning the past year are part of a sweeping effort by Chinese authorities to use detentions and data-driven surveillance to impose a digital police state in the region of uh, Xinjiang and over its Uyghurs, a 10 million strong Turkic-speaking Muslim minority that China says has been influenced by Islamic extremism. Along with the detention camps, unprecedented levels of police blanket Xinjiang streets cutting-edge digital surveillance systems track everywhere you go what you read who you talk to what you say face full face scan full eye scan they got it all and under an opaque system that treats practically all of those people as potential terror suspects if you contact your family abroad you risk detention think about that complete isolation guys that's what they want to be this that's why they want to be the superpower of the world it's not going to work for them it's going to go to a certain point before this beast system is taken down we'll talk about that too now more than a dozen people from that area have had the courage to speak out but they did it privately and the reporters are not going to give their names but guys this is the beast system this is, ties directly into silicon valley the censorship that we're seeing now here and imagine if Hillary would have been elected. It would have been the end. We would have complete censorship, complete surveillance. And that's why before Trump came in, they were building the FEMA camps. And that will be another video. There's thousands of inf uh, videos about FEMA camps out there. But do you know why they tied Walmart into it? Do you know really why? We'll talk about that in the, maybe the next video. But I want to show you something, and that's why I wanted. I said this B system would fall. Check this out. Now, let me say this. Many people, and I agree, that prayers during the election and before the election um, to for God to look down on America and try to take these evil politicians off our back, and I think that's where Trump um, came in, just to answer the prayers. He's not perfect by any means but he was chosen to do this 
he has a lot of background that a lot of people don't know about. You know, military training as far as the military schools. But um, this also has to do with God. And it happened once before. And I did a video, maybe two on it in the last five years, as we were talking about meteors and comets. It's called the Qing Yang event, 1490. And uh, is it? is a presumed meteor shower or air burst in Queen Yang uh, in March of April 1490. The area was in the district of Shanet, now part of Gansu. If a meteor sh shower did occur, it may have been the result of a disintegration of an asteroid during an atmospheric entry air burst. That's not what it was. It was a comet because at the same time, Asian astronomers coincidentally discovered comet C-1490Y1. And that's where your quadrant uh, meteors come from and the meteor shower there. But they track this thing for days. You don't, again, you can't track an asteroid back with the equipment they had then. They saw it coming. At least three surviving Chinese historical records describe a shower during which stones fell like rain, killing more than 10,000 people. That was there, but this was spread out over Australia, New Zealand, and all. The, there's people now who went back and found this information, found these Chinese junks, which were way larger than like the Mayflower and those wooden sailors that we had. They, The Chinese junks, guys, were over a football field long. They were huge, and they were going around. They were in the process of conquering the entire planet, coming in the name of trade at first. But it says, at least one report of the event is found in the official history of the Ming Dynasty, and other journal records which describe the event are also generally considered reliable. But the official Ming Dynasty history omits the number of casualties, which has been frequently either doubted or discounted by present-day researchers. Way more than 10,000 people. Islands out from New Zealand all the way to Easter Island had hailstones and burning rocks falling, burning the forest, burning people up all through that area. There was a tsunami that hit, and I'll find the old video where I've got all the details, that hit behind the Chinese Navy. Those ships were found 500 feet, still remnants of these ancient Chinese junks were for, from 1400, have been found four and 500 feet up in the mountains along Australia, New Zealand, again all the way to Easter Island, that had been burned. It wiped out the conquering Chinese Navy, the hand of God. How many times in the Bible has he talked about hailstones coming down on the enemy? And he told Job, the in the end, on that day of the Lord of that great battle, do you know what I have in store? Read that. It talks about hailstones. But guys, this is where the world is now. We've got a lot of problems. And what Trump and the administration is doing is trying to stop the beast. If it had, and it's so close to taking us over now, but we were the last ones. We are standing in the line of the satanic beast takeover. AI will have a lot to do with the controlling of it. So if I had to have one point of the whole video, you guys in the cities, places like that, that depend on, you got to be on the electrical grid to make it, water grid, whatever, you're not going to make it. If this thing takes over, the ultimate survival of something like this would be complete bug out off the grid. So you're not rounded up. We have the highest hopes that the changes we see coming here in the United States will stop this. But I want you to have plans. Not every person out there really cares. But the people that watch this channel and some of our other channels, like Steve Motley, thank you, Steve, for your video reply. But they, we care. We care what happens here. Now, a lot of the people that you see do videos about this have plans. Have bug out preparations because it, there's going to be a time, it could, could come right after the first of the year, when Trump's people are coming down on the deep state so hard that 
there will be a couple weeks, maybe a month, of military law issued. Now, from what I understand, the military law will be mostly in the sanctuary cities. And I've got friends in most of them. I hope you're listening. And the reason it's going to be there is because Clinton, Obama, Soros control the groups like Antifa and other ones that are on the verge of being declared terrorist organizations. Even though they're weak, they're going to call them out. You get, they're going to call out their evil minions in that last day of their battle, right? So that's where the military is going to be concentrated, in the sanctuary cities that are allowing these people to do what they do. You understand what I'm saying? So if you're in one of these, and it's not burning to the ground right now, think about getting out of it. If you can't, you better save every penny and nickel and make sure you've got at least a month's food or water and uh, other things put up. And you better be prepared to um, guard your home because one out of a hundred may be prepared in your city, maybe one out of a thousand. So what are the other 999 people going to do that weren't prepared? They're going to form roving gangs, and they're going to kill everyone and take their food. Hunger is a driving mechanism like no other. But guys, this is the state of the situation that we're in now. And again, the whole thing of the video that you may not have a lot of time to prepare. People are talking about again after the first of the year something happening because the deep state is falling so fast they've got to throw their last card. We're watching it. You watch it, guys. I'm going to get with Steve Motley sometimes between now and Monday, and we're going to set a date for that live show. We've got some information, guys, that has not been talked about, and you're going to enjoy the show. It's going to be very informative. But again, get, start getting prepared. Don't be caught off guard. It's a heads up. Be safe.